Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you with uh, to start to um, trace out your template for the roses. So I want to make three sizes of petals. We want to do this um, with the 65 uh, pound cardstock. This is where you get these from Michael. So earlier on our trip, we went to Michael's and then we got this pack here. Uh, for 50 pieces and it this is six dollars and it'll get you probably at least 10 or 15 flowers depends on what size you want to um, make your roses so I just wanted to show you how I make my template uh, I basically fold two sheets in half or one sheet in half sorry um, and then I will draw out with uh, just a regular pencil I want to draw out uh, three sizes of petals so it's really easy. What I do usually is um, for the smaller petals, I'll fold them in half. So that way you have the center. So when you're cutting it, you have the center of the um, petal. So I will trace out. It's kind of, it looks like a, like a kind of a heart. So here, draw out a heart and then with the stem on the bottom. So this stem here, You'll see later on when we do make the rose that it's for um, the base of the flower. So here, we're just going to cut along. This here is the medium sized petal. So we're going to cut around and then we'll create a template. So then when we are creating our roses, we all we do is put it, this on the, the cardstock and there. It doesn't have to be perfect because the petals actually get curled, so I don't, I'm not too picky about that. Um, for the next size petal, again, I'll fold this in half, and then I'll make a smaller petal than this one here. So this one is the medium size, and then we'll trace out a smaller. Um, I keep this on the bottom, see? I don't know if you guys see this. So this here will be still my base and then I'll just uh, trace out a smaller petal on top of that. So that'll be my smallest petal for that's for the middle or the beginning of the flower or the rose. So that's what it looks like. And then we will cut this out and then I will um, show you how, how to make the bigger, the biggest petal. So cut around. So now we have small petal, medium sized petal, and then we will now do our big petal. So for the big petal, you need one sheet. I will cut it in half just so then I can make it even. Oh, well, like we want we want the, um, the petals to be even. So what I do is take this guy right here. And then I'll put them on the bottom, same same size or same uh, corner, uh, put the folds together. And what I'll do is just trace around it just a little bit bigger. So then that way we get the same kind of uniform petal. And that's what it looks like there. And then we'll just cut her out. Cut it out and then once we create our flower our rose and we'll start to use all these three now we have template one template two and template three see so the easiest way for the small rose petals is because I know that we've already folded this in half what I'm doing is just Folding it again in four, it makes things a lot easier. So we need four of the small rose petals. And I'll just trace it out, put it on the sheet after I folded it twice in half, and trace it out. And then we can just cut it into one, one piece, like one time. Then that way it'll save us time. So here, cut these out.
and then in the middle here, you see, then you cut it one more time. And then it gives you your four rose petals. Perfect. So when we are doing the medium size rose petals, what we want to do is, um, again, these were a half of a half, so we want to cut them into, or fold them into two, and then we'll trace it, and then that way we it's faster. So we need to have uh, four, four of these, so we get eight petals, eight medium sized petals. There's one sheet. Oops. Two sheets. Three sheets. Again, they don't have to be perfect. Four sheets. Okay, so now let's start cutting them out. Unfold in the middle and then cut it again. So we've got two, two petals and now we have to do another three. I just wanted to show you the uh, supplies that we're going to need. So we need a glue gun for the project, our templates of course, then the paper of which we're going to make the flowers out of. Um, we have a butter knife that we're going to use to curl the petals. Also some glue, pencil, and scissors. And I've gone ahead to cut out our templates. So the small, the large, and the medium flowers. And so now we're going to assemble. So to make the paper flowers or the paper roses, what we want to do is start to curl them. So what I'm using is just a basic um, butter knife. You can also get a boning tool from Michaels and they are, they're approximately $10, but you know, it's really a straight edge. So what I'm doing is not using the, the um, edge side, but just the, the flat edge. So the opposite side of the butter knife and you just start to curl the petals. So I'll continue to do this with the petals. Just hold it with your thumb, press it down, and then just pull. And then the petals will start to curl.
Okay, so now that I finished curling my petals, I'm gonna start to assemble the rose. So what we wanna do is for the inner bud of the rose, we wanna uh, glue them together. So we need to glue underneath on the bottom here and then just put a little bit of glue just to hold it. So this is our bottom and hold it down for a little bit. So this is what it's going to look like. So then we'll take the petal and we kind of can position them, start to position them anywhere, any way you want, unless you want your buds to be close, the, the center of the rows to be close together. So just put a dab of glue on the side of the petals. And then you hold it as it's cooling. And then we'll do the same for the next petal. Mm -hmm. 